so pan over. Those little porches out there are also interaction areas that the grad students and workers will be able to go. We're going to have kind of cafe type seating there. And much more, I mean, the students were, you know, what is it going to be like in this big space, but it's actually worked out really well. And most people, I think, are very happy with the, the com combination of privacy. I, mean, I live, so I feel a great proprietary <laughs> thing Michigan's for it. Michigan's Museum of Paleontology is known worldwide for really two major areas. First is the mammoths and mastodons with, with uh, Dan Fisher, who you mentioned. He's basically you know, video. Okay, clear. Okay. Um, clear. <laughs> Available to talk. They'll have a headset with a microphone and you can talk to a paleontologist and learn what are they doing today. Okay, so that's what this design did. The, the color, all the terracotta is the same color, but you look at it, it doesn't look the same color. Okay, some of it is grooved, some of it is kind of sandblasted. It's done to essentially mimic the natural changes of color that you see in a brick building. Okay, so we have the same limestone base that you see a lot of our other, other buildings. Uh, and a lot of the same color palette. But we're trying to do that in a modern building with modern materials that allow us to make this building so much more energy efficient than if we had done a classic brick building.